Hi, I'm Rashawn Gidwani. And I'm Zach. And welcome to the Urban Backyard. Today we're going to be teaching you all something a little more diverse. So Zach, what do we have here today? Right here, we have a shoe rack that can be commonly found at campsites. Okay, why would we need a shoe rack outdoors? We need a shoe rack to prevent our shoes from getting money during the campsite. Okay, that's very useful. So how do we actually put it all together? Okay, this shoe rack is made up of lashings. Okay. And gadget poles. Yes. As you can see, the lashing here is started with a clove hitch, ah. which will be what we're showing you all today. Okay. Could you teach me how to do it, Zach? Sure, why not? Okay, with this blue cotton lanyard, we will go around the gadget pole to create an X, like this. After that, put the running end okay. through the X as such, then tighten. There we have it, a clove hitch. And that's the knot you use to tie the shoe rack together? Yes, using this knot to start the clove hitch, we can use lashings to tie a variety of cam gadgets. Fantastic, could I give it a shot? Sure, why not? All right. Okay. So what I do is I take this blue piece of rope, put it around first, get the X, and just put it through. Is that right? Let me take a look, Roshan. Oh, I didn't think you got it right. Look at this. A good clove hitch does not come out so easily. No, Let me show you true. again. Get the X, uh -huh. like that. Put the running end through the X, as shown. And there you have it, a clove hitch. That won't come out either? Yes, it won't come out. Okay, very strong. Yes, there's actually another way to tie a clove hitch. Oh, okay. Let me show you. The advantage of this way of tying a clove hitch is that we can tie it on the middle of a rope. First, create open hand loop as such. Okay. Then, an unhand loop. Yeah. Put the underhand loop over the overhand loop. And put it through the pole. Tighten. Adjust. And there you have it, a clove hitch. And that's another way of how you tie the clove hitch. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, I can't wait to try this myself. Yes, now you can build your own can gadgets. Thank you for watching the Urban Backyard. 